Wisconsin is practically your online gateway to a myriad of Kenyan government services. The services range from ENSA services, Certificate of Good Conduct application, e-passport and visa applications, vehicle transfers, and county government licenses, to many more self-serve services. The only condition you have to meet to virtually access all these government services is an e-citizen account. My name is Ava with the Money Monkey, and this is how to recover your e-citizen account. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell. Let's build our lives together. Now that we are done with that, let us now dive into it. While online service delivery through the e-citizen portal eliminates the hassle of queuing outside government offices for hours, it comes at the cost of memorizing your account password. Therefore, it can be a daunting experience to lose your e-citizen account because you've forgotten your login details. If you have forgotten your e-citizen account details, there are a few simple steps you can follow to recover your account. To access government to citizen services online, you are required to first have an e-citizen account. The account also enables you to pay for these services via e-citizen agents, mobile money, and debit cards. However, there are only four types of accounts that you can create on the e-citizen portal. These are e-citizen Kenyan citizen. This is for Kenyans only. However, you must provide your ID number and your first name as it appears on the ID for validation. E-citizen foreign residents. This is meant for foreigners residing in Kenya. The foreigner must provide their alien identification number with their first name as it appears on the ID for validation. E-Citizen Business Businesses registered in Kenya can create an e-citizen business account. The only prerequisite is they have to provide their business registration number. E-Citizen e-Visa Visitors This is for foreign nationals looking to acquire a visa to enter the country. To register, the foreign nationals must provide their passport numbers. To create an e-citizen account, visit www.accounts.ecitizen.go.key on your browser. The new window presents you with different types of accounts you can create on the platform. Select Kenyan citizen or foreign resident if you're a Kenyan or foreigner residing in Kenya, respectively. Click on the Create Account link below either option. Enter your ID number and first name as it appears on your national ID for validation or alien identification number if you're a foreigner. Next, provide your email address and re-enter it in the succeeding text box to confirm it. Enter your phone number. Enter a strong password and memorize it. Re-enter your password in the next text box to confirm it. Read the terms and conditions. Then check the I agree to the terms and conditions checkbox. Press continue. On the next window, confirm the number you'd like to receive a verification code. Click the Send Verification Code button. On the next page, enter the four-digit e-citizen verification code texted to your mobile number. Tap the Verify Code button. This action takes you to the e-citizen login window. E-citizen login process is very easy. Go to the e-citizen portal. Navigate to Login. Step 2. You are provided with a screen like this. Step 3. Enter your email address or ID number as prompted and provide your e-citizen account password. Step 4. If you enter the correct details you will be logged in and you can access the government services of your choice. If you're denied access because your account details don't match, follow these steps to recover your e-citizen account. You may also want to recover or reset your e-citizen account password. Click on the Forgot Your Password. Link or enter https colon slash slash accounts dot slash forgot password in your browser. Enter your email address or ID number to request password resetting. How about recovering eCitizen password via your email address? Enter the email address you gave when registering the citizen account. You will receive details on how to reset your password in your email. Press reset my password. Request the service to email you a password reset link by tapping email me the link to reset my password. Press continue. Go to your email inbox and navigate to the password reset email from eCitizen. Press the password reset link that directs you to a password reset page. Provide a new password that is secure and you can easily remember. Confirm the new password. Tap on the reset my password button. Log into your citizen account using your new password. If for any reason you want to recover your password using your ID number, no worries. Enter your ID number instead of your email address. 
The next screen asks you to confirm how you would like to reset your password. Request the service to text you a password reset code via SMS using the registered phone number and click continue. This method is often easier and faster. A new window prompts you to check your phone for SMS loads. Below the message, there is an empty text box where you should enter the code. You will receive a text message with a password reset code from eCitizen. Enter the code in the text box on the new window and press continue. You are taken to a password reset page. Provide a new password that is secure and you can easily remember. Confirm the new password and press the Reset My Password button. Log into your eCitizen account using your new password. This is the password that you will use from now onwards when logging into your eCitizen account. But again, why should you recover your eCitizen account? Reasons you should recover your eCitizen account or create one if you don't have one already include convenience, an eCitizen account makes paying for government services easy, i.e., allows you to pay via eCitizen agents, mobile money, online banking, and debit cards. You will also get most government services there, which saves you the trouble of queuing in front of government offices. One sign-in account. Most government services can be accessed using just one account with a single username and password. However, it is important that the account is set up correctly in order to avoid any problems. Timely and efficient online services. You can submit an online application for the government service you desire. You may then download your document in PDF format after it is finished. You can then print it anytime and anywhere you want. Notifications of application progress. You will be alerted by email and text message when your application has moved to a new stage or is completed. Might be a job application requirement. Most government jobs and services require applicants to make online applications. eCitizen is the government platform that facilitates this. It is important to have an eCitizen account in order to access government services conveniently. If you do not have an account or forgot your password, you can follow the steps above to create one or reset your password. Remember to choose a password that you can easily remember to avoid being locked out of your eCitizen account. We hope this video was helpful in explaining how to recover your eCitizen account. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Don't forget to subscribe to our account, hit on that notification bell. Until next time, bye for now.